Hello and welcome to Reader Zone. I'm Jake Ball. Thank you for taking a little time to join me today. We carry out live webinars to demonstrate Reader Zone about twice per week. However, these are during the day when educators and librarians have a million things to do. So I've made this shortened presentation that briefly demonstrates Reader Zone. You can always learn more by watching the videos on this page or visiting ReaderZone.com. And of course, you can call or email us anytime. For this webinar, I'll do the following. First, quickly explain the principles that drive ReaderZone. Second, we'll go to the ReaderZone dashboard and see how you can build reading programs for a single classroom up to an entire school or library system. Third, we'll go to the ReaderZone mobile app and see how your families and patrons actually participate with reading programs. When we're done, you'll understand what drives successful reading programs and how the Reader's Own system works for librarians, teachers, and of course, your readers. Reader's Own has been available since 2018. At present, it's used by schools and libraries in all 50 US states and about 18 countries around the world. Reader's Own has one job, help schools and libraries build cultures of reading. Before we built Reader's Own, we studied schools and libraries all over the world that have exceptional reading programs. We found that there are three principles that drive highly effective programs. They are engage, adapt, and report. As we go through the demonstration, I'll show you how we integrated these principles into the software. As we built Reader Zone, we had two goals for the technology itself. Number one, allow a teacher or librarian to build a reading program that fits their exact parameters in less than 10 minutes. And number two, allow anyone to download the Reader Zone mobile app, create an account, and join a reading program in less than three minutes. Then make it so a daily reading entry takes less than 10 seconds. You can create a free, no obligation account at ReaderZone anytime. The free accounts are full featured and allow up to 20 readers. It's a great way to test the system and see how it works before you commit to buy it. With that, let's get into the ReaderZone dashboard and build a new reading program. Then we'll pull up the mobile app and see how to join and participate with the reading program we create right now. Let's go to the ReaderZone dashboard. Here we are at the ReaderZone main page. To create a new Reader Zone account, just click the Sign Up button right here, and it will take you to this page. Here you decide what type of an account you're going to have. Of course, if you're creating a Reader Zone account for your school, library, or other organization, click the Organizer button right here, and this will allow you to select a plan. If you'd like to create a free Reader Zone account to test the system, just click the green button right here, and we will create a new Reader Zone account. I'll put in an email address and click sign up. Next, I'll fill out this little form to create my new account. With this filled in, I'll click create account and enter my organization details. With this filled in, I'll click next and it lands me on the Reader's Own dashboard and I just click get started right here. This will open up the Reader's Own dashboard. And you'll see the first thing I'm prompted to do here is to create a new reading program. The architecture of Reader's Own is set up such that you have reading programs and then reading groups or activities. Think about a reading program as kind of a bucket, and that bucket holds reading groups or reading activities. Every different reading group or activity can have a different set of parameters, and they can all fit within one program. Any given Reader's Own account can have an unlimited number of reading programs. Each reading program in turn can have an unlimited number of reading groups or activities. That's when join your reading groups or activities. And of course, every group or activity can have an unlimited number associated with it. So let's go back to the dashboard here and we're gonna create a reading program and then we're gonna put some reading groups in it. The first thing I'll do here is click Add Program. From here, I have a couple of choices to make. I can do a quick start or an advanced setup. The advanced setup allows me to create multiple reading groups or activities on one screen, and the quick start walks me through step by step. Let's do the quick start, and I'll give my reading program a name. Maybe I'll call it Jefferson Elementary. You'll see I have a reading program code here. Every single reading program has a unique five-character alphanumeric code, and this is the code that your families will use to find your reading program. 
Once I'm through here, I'll click next. And now we have created that bucket and that bucket is called Jefferson Elementary. And let's add a reading group. Maybe I want a reading group for my kindergarten readers. With my group name in here, I'll click next. Now I decided this will be a goal-based or a reading log group. A goal-based makes it such that I will create a specific goal for my readers. The example here is 400 minutes per month, but of course you can make a goal for anything you would like. 50 pages per week, 35 minutes a day, whatever you'd like, the goal is available. With the reading log group, I don't set up a specific goal for my readers. I just allow them to log reading according to the specific metric I decide on. So I'll do a goal based here because that tends to be more instructive and click next. On this screen, you see the various metrics that are available for me for any given group or activity. I can measure minutes, pages, chapters, books, a yes, no response or other, which allows me to put in any metric I would like. For a kindergarten group, maybe I want to give them a goal to read a specific number of books. I'll click books right here and click next. And now I set up the goal. Maybe I want to have my kindergartners read five books and I can select every day, week, month, or for the duration of the group. The duration of the group means that I would ask them to read five books between two dates that I select. For example, August 1st to August 31st. Maybe I would like my kindergartners to read five books per month. I'll click next. And now I select the date range. And my date range could be whatever I would like. So maybe I will have this go from August 1st through the end of October, maybe October 31st. With my dates in here, I'll click next. If I would like to ask additional demographic questions, I can select any number of these questions right here as my readers join this particular reading group, or I can skip this step. And my last step is what we call the group book bank. This allows me as a reading program organizer to place books as suggested or required reading into the book bank for all the readers in this particular reading group. For example, if I would like all my kindergartners to read Biscuit, I would put that right here. I can do a search for a title, author, ISBN, or EAN number here in the search field, and we'll search for Biscuit. Then click search, and there it is. We'll add this book. I can allow my kindergartners to read this book more than once or just one time. Maybe I'll click reread here and click finish, and now that group is done. And of course, I can add books to the group book bank at any point. So you'll see I'm back to my dashboard here, and here is my reading program of Jefferson Elementary. By clicking on the plus icon, I can see that there is the name of my program and its reading program code. If I click into this, there's my first group, Kindergarten Readers. If I open this group up, you'll see that I have set up the parameters here, and I can edit these parameters at any point. But maybe I would like to add another group for Jefferson Elementary. I'll click Add Group right here. And let's do our first graders. I'll click next. I'll set them up with a goal as well. Maybe I'd like my first graders to have a minutes based goal. I'll click next right here. Maybe I want to have them read 200 minutes every month. With this goal set up, I'll click next. I'll put my duration in here. Maybe I'll have them start August 15th and we'll go all the way to the end of the year. I'll click next. I can skip the demographic questions here. I can also skip the book bank at this point if I would like and click finish. And now I have two groups ready to go. Let's do one more group that's a little different. I'll click add group right here. And let's do Mr. Jones class. I'll click next here. Maybe Mr. Jones just wants his students to log the number of pages they read. For a reading log group, I can either do a contest between individual reading groups or individual readers within a reading group, or click Promote Reading, which simply allows participants in this group to log their reading. I'll click Next right here. If Mr. Jones would like to log the number of pages his kids read, I'll click Pages right here. I'll click Next. And maybe we'll start this one on September 1st. Maybe we'll just go all the way to the end of the academic year on May 31st. I'll click Next. We'll skip this step. And maybe Mr. Jones would like his kids to read the K at some point. We'll search for that book here. And there it is. We'll add that book. We'll just read it once and click finish. And now it's done. I have three reading groups that are ready to go. This reading program is also ready to go. If you were to enter this reading program code into the app right now, you could 
join this reading program and be on your way. So we will do just that. I will pull up the Reader's Own app and we'll show you what it looks like to create an account and then participate with this reading program. Here is the Reader's Own mobile app. It is pulled up on an Android device and this is exactly the screen that your participants see when they download the Reader's Own app and open it on their phone for the first time. So let's create a new Reader's Own account. I'll click sign up right here and let's create an account. We'll put Walter Reader as the name, let's do an email address. We'll confirm that email address. We will create a password and confirm it. Once that's through, I'll submit this and my Reader's Own account has been created. With my account created, I have a decision to make and that is will this be a single reader account or a multiple reader account? Any Reader's Own account can host an unlimited number of readers and each reader can participate in different reading programs. I'll select multiple readers here and click next. And my first step is adding a reader. So let's add our first reader. Maybe we'll add Walter Jr. With my reader in here, I'll click next. And this is where I enter this all important reading program code that was created when we created this new reading program. I will enter that in here, which is 1CE41. And it will pull up the name of my reading program, which is Jefferson Elementary, and the reading groups that are part of this reading program. Keep in mind, this is in the live database and is exactly the experience your families and patrons will have when they create a Reader's Own account. We'll imagine that Walter Jr. is a first grader at Jefferson Elementary, so I'll have him join the first graders group and click Next. And that's it. We are ready to read. So that's as long as it takes to create a Reader's Own account and join a reading program. When I click go right here, it will drop me on the screen where I can select Walter Jr. So I'll click view reader right here. And because Walter is in a group that is logging minutes, you'll see this timer right here. And as I log in for the first time, the app will give me little instructions and show me what is available through the app. On this screen, you'll see that the goal is 200 minutes, and that is the goal that I set up as a reading program organizer. I can click the play button right here, and the timer will start to go. With that timer going, I'll show you a couple of other items here in the Reader's Own app. The first is the book bank. The book bank allows your participants to log the books they are reading and the books they have finished. And there's a few ways for them to do that. If I click add book right here, I can search for a book using various options. I can scan the barcode of a book, or I can add a custom book that may not have an ISBN number or a barcode. So let's scan a barcode and add a book to Walter Jr.'s book bank. If I click scan barcode right here, we will add how to catch a monster. So I will scan that barcode. The app recognizes that. I confirm that entry. And now that book is in my book bank. With that book in my book bank, I can finish the book and I can rate it and I can put a report in there for the book that the reading program organizer can see. There is no limit to the number of books individuals place in their book banks. Moving over here, I can go to the awards. And this is a very exciting part about Reader Zone is all of your reading groups and activities have built in awards. Right now, all these awards are grayed out because I haven't achieved any of them yet. But I, as a reading program organizer, can set up these awards and the triggers however I would like within the Reader's Own dashboard. Let's go back over here to the reading entry, and you'll see we read 2 minutes and 33 seconds. I'll click pause right here. Next, and we will confirm that reading entry, and it will unlock the first award for me in this reading program, which is Welcome to Reader's Own. If I click OK right here, it will drop me back onto my main screen and then back to my entry screen. If I would like to make a manual entry, I can click manual entry right here. Let's say I read 15 minutes. I'll click next, confirm, and now that entry is in there. If I happen to miss a few days of reading, that's just fine. You can go back in the app up to 10 days. If I click OK right there, I'll go to past reading. The enter past reading function will take you to yesterday's date by default, and you can go backwards in the app up to 10 days. For example, if I missed my reading on August 20th, I just scroll to that date and maybe I read 20 minutes. I'll click 20 right here, click confirm, 
and now that reading entry is done. When I click done here, I arrive back at my screen and another great button I can click is view progress. And this will show all the progress I have made as a reader in the Reader Zone app. I can see all my entries, the awards, and the books I have read in chronological order. And this is a really fun thing for your readers to see all of the reading they have accomplished over time within a Reader Zone reading program. Going back to my Reader Zone dashboard, if I update this page and click on first graders, you see there's Walter Jr. right here. If I click on Walter Jr., I can see all of his progress, the awards he has unlocked, the books he has entered and finished, and the reading entries that he has made. I can also see his total progress right here, and I can add books to his book bank at any point if I'd like. On this screen, I can manage all aspects of this reader's account. You can see I'm on Walter Jr.'s page, who is a member of the first graders group of the Jefferson Elementary Reading Program. And the sky is the limit in terms of how you set up reading programs, groups, and individual activities. Back here at the dashboard, I can see all the progress from my entire Reader Zone account in a snapshot view right here, and the readers who are participating in my reading programs as well. On the left side of the screen are all the management tools I have for my Reader Zone account. We won't go through all these in detail on this particular demonstration, but I will tell you what each of them are. We are on the program screen. The Manage Reader screen allows me to manage all the readers who are a part of my Reader Zone account. The Invite Readers tool allows me to invite readers to participate in my Reader Zone account via email. The Share and Promote tool allows me to create a badge that I can post on any web page I would like that shows readers how to join my reading programs. The Progress badges are a fantastic tool that you can use to show your community how great your readers are. On this screen, I can select this one program I have here, Jefferson Elementary and you see it will display our real-time reading total. I can define the design for this badge and exactly what it displays. And I can share this on Facebook, I can turn it into an HTML embed, or I can download it as an image as well. Reporting is so important in terms of building that culture of reading, and this is how you can report on your real-time progress with very little effort. The reports area allows me to pull all the data from my readers on account, you can create a report on just about any imaginable parameter by using these tools here and then downloading your reports as a CSV file or a PDF. And of course, in the My Account area, you can manage all aspects of your account. If you happen to be on a free test account, you can go to your subscriptions page here and select a new plan that accommodates more than 20 readers. This way, I can take all the programs that I created in my free account and then turn them into a paid account and not have to recreate anything. So here on the dashboard and through the mobile app, you can see how we applied principles of engage, adapt, and report. Engaging folks in your programs is making it simple for them to join. Adapting to changing needs means going through and making it such that you can see readers progress and make adjustments to reading programs and groups as needed. And then reporting is very simple through the progress badges and through your reports page. Back at the main Reader Zone site, there is a resources tab up here that has a knowledge base, a forum, a blog, a masterclass, and a toolbox. Each of these are filled with tools, tutorials, and everything you might need to run a successful reading program. And of course, you can always call or email us with help, and we're happy to assist. If you'd like to learn more, there are a lot of videos you can watch down here on our Reader Zone channel. And you can just read through anything you would like here on the About Us page or anything in the resources area. Through this short demonstration, I hope you can see how easy it is to build and deploy reading programs using ReaderZone, and more importantly, how easy it is for your families to participate in your reading programs. What we want to do is increase participation in your reading programs among all your students and patrons and give you the tools you need to react to your readers and respond to how they are interacting with your reading programs so they remain relevant to all your readers. If you'd like a more thorough demonstration, give us a call or shoot us an email and we're happy to assist and show you more tools and answer your questions that are specific to your particular school or library. Thank you so much and we look forward to speaking with you very soon.